Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got another little hover effect for you today. We've got an icon field up here. And when we hover over, it's going to fade out into an image like that. And when we take our mouse off, it's going to fade back out just like that. And we've added a link so you can take people to places if you want to once they click on this image. And we've got another similar one next door right here. So let's get started. Really easy to do. No coding involved in this today. So I'm going to enable the visual builder so we can build on the front end here. OK, once we've got our visual builder enabled, let's go down and we'll create a new section. Little blue button for a section right here. I'll make it a regular section. And let's pop two columns in there. There we go. Divi comes as standard with all these modules here in the light gray. Plenty enough to build just about any site. If you've got WooCommerce involved, it'll also give you a dozen extra to display your products with. I'm going to use an icon module for this today. Here it is right here. All I'm going to do is left click on it and it'll put it in that column for us. Great. Just to save any confusion, if I move this, you can see it's put a little icon in there. I'm just going to save this. I'm going to delete this section above. There we go. So we've got our little icon in there. Let's go in and style it how we want it. Dark tab to go in there. And you can choose your icon, obviously, right here. Just put in a search term for whatever you're looking for. Let's put that one in. There we go. And we've got a little icon there. If we roll down, here's where we can add the link. Put wherever you want to take your people when they click on the icon right there. And always best practice, if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking to somebody else's site, open it in a new tab. OK, I'm going to give this a background color so we can see exactly what we've got going on here. And you can give it a color, a gradient, an image if you want to, a pattern or a background mask. I'm just going to use a simple color. Just keep this very simple today. I'll roll down. And let's just choose a purple color perhaps. And there we have it. You can see it's just surrounded our little icon there, really. OK, what we're going to do now is put the image in that we want this to fade to. And the way this works today is we've got a row here, the green tab. If I go in there, we've got two columns, a left and a right, a left and right. So let's go into our first column and let's pop an image in there. So I'm in the content. I'm going to go down to background. I'm going to put in the image that we want behind our little icon there. So again, you've got color gradient, image, video, pattern, or background mask. I'm going to go for a, an image here. And let's choose the image we want. OK, I chose nature. So let's grab that one there, perhaps. As you can see, it's put this image in behind our little icon there, which is fine. What I'm now going to do is add some padding to our icon so we make this image the aspect ratio that we actually want to look at it, or the size, if you will, that we want to see when we look at it. And to do that, I may have to push the padding past where the column ends to make sure we don't see anything spilling out over. Still in our column settings, I'm going to go to Advance. I'm going to go to Visibility. I'm going to turn Horizontal and Vertical Default both to Hidden. That way, nothing will spill out over if we push our padding too far. Great, so we've got our column set up. We've got visibility turned to hidden. And we've got our image in the background. So we can save this. And just do similar for the next column if you're going to do the same thing. So let's save our row now. And we'll go back into our icon and make it the shape we want it. So let's click on the icon. We'll go back in there. I'm going to hit design. I'm going to go down to spacing. Now, top and bottom, let's try giving it 100 pixels on the top. Just put in the 100, it'll put the pixels in there for you. And if you hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side for you also. And that's about the aspect ratio I want to see that image at. Obviously, adjust yours to however you want. Type in a value, or you can increment up and down with a little 
arrows to the side there. Great. Well, now I want to add some padding left and right so it sort of covers our image here. But before we do that, let's just check this on mobile and tablet. And to do that, this is common to most Divi modules. Hover over the dark writing here. And the, if you see a little mobile phone icon, we can click on it and it'll bring up desktop we're looking at at the moment. Tablet, if we can click on it, it'll switch to tablet view. And that image to me in tablet view is too short there. So I'm going to add perhaps another 50 pics and make it 150 each side. That's a bit more like it. That's the aspect ratio I want there. And let's check it on mobile. And it's a little too deep there. So let's perhaps take it down to 50. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. So we've got that on mobile. That on tablet. And this on desktop. Great, that works perfectly for me. Okay, well let's work on the left and the right padding here. So let's try giving it maybe 40%. I'm using percentage here because when it goes to different devices, it may be slightly wider or less. And I've hidden the overflow, so we can give it more than we need. Perhaps if I give it 40%, just type in 40 and percent. Let's hit the chain. Yeah, that's covered it absolutely fine. If I take this back to 30%, You'll see we're missing a bit at the side. 40 is okay. I'm going to up it to 45 just so we've got a little bit of spare. That's knocking that off just a little bit. Let's increment down and make sure we've got our icon nicely central. So I think 40 is about as good as it gets. If we do more, then we've got a little gap at the corner there, or less, I should say. It's starting to reveal that image for us so let's keep that so it's nicely covered great so that's kind of what we want to see initially and then when we hover over it we want that to disappear and reveal the image now when we put that background color in i made it a solid color which is fine you may want to see a little bit of the image through there if you want to see a bit of the image through there go back to your content and to background Click on the actual color field and the variegated slider here. If you want to see some of the image through it, just pull the opacity slider down, this one right here, until you can see as much or as little of the image as you want. If you want it to just be a solid color, then do that. But I think I'll just reveal a little bit of the image so there's something going on behind there. Then what we want to do when people hover over this is take this away completely and reveal the image. To do that, let's pop over to our design. We'll go down to filters. And if we roll down, we've got an opacity filter. And as we mentioned before, opacity is transparency or see-throughness. And again, if you hover over the dark writing here, common to most DV modules, we've got little icons that pop up. If there's a little arrow there, we can set a desktop state when your mouse is not on it and a hover state when your mouse is on it. So on desktop state, we want to see exactly what's there. So I'm not going to change anything. When we hover over it with the mouse, I want that icon and the background to disappear to reveal the image. Perfect. Now with Divi, the default time it takes to go from here to here is 300 milliseconds, which is pretty quick. If you want to speed that down or slow it up, go to your advanced. We'll go down to transitions. And there's your default 300 milliseconds right there. You can take it to the right to slow it down. Just take mind about half a second, 500 milliseconds. Don't want any delay. Want it to happen as soon as people's mouse rolls over it. Transition speed curve. A lot of hover effects. I'll use ease in and ease out. They're all fairly similar. These. Some will work better than others in certain situations. Ease works fine in this situation, but my go-to for hover effects is usually ease in, ease out. That way when you take your mouse off, it'll ease back out as well. Okay, well if you've done everything correctly now, this should work. Let's save our changes. Save the page changes and exit the Visual Builder. 
And there we go. We've got our little icon box there when we hover over it. It's going to fade out, taking half a second to reveal our image. And as you can see by the hand icon, if we click on the image, we've got a link to take people somewhere. When we roll back off, it's going to fade back out again, just like that. So there you go, guys. There's how to create an icon module. And when you hover over it, it's going to fade out into an image with a link for you. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.